Here in Cleethorpes, a new culture festival will showcase the creative talent of local people in a two-day event on the 14th and 15th of May, as recently reported on our sister channel, Billboard TV. Music plays an important role in the Cleethorpes Culture Festival at St Aidan's Church on the 14th and 15th of May, with singer-songwriter Rachel McKenna, star of RTV's Starstruck, Alice Wood, and the popular Cleethorpes Band, who will feature in a reenactment of the 1936 Cleethorpes Charter Day, along with members of the Caxton Theatre. The festival features a poetry workshop with Paul Sutherland, art workshops with Glyn Bullman and Anna Lee Owen, a craft workshop with Purple Meadow, and even a stand-up comedy workshop with London-based comedian Lauren Smith. The festival also includes poetry performances, a book fair, craft fair and art exhibition. You even have the opportunity to showcase your own creativity by bringing something you made during lockdown to display in the Grace and Perry Star Rona Art Exhibition run by John Booney. <laughs> the Mariners seem to be enjoying renewed success under the new ownership, both on and off the pitch, with larger attendances and better performances, improving their chances of promotion after a last-minute penalty saw them win against Torquay. I caught up with joint owner Jason Stockwood before the match. Well, the reason we're involved in the club is because you know, we, we, Andrew and I both moved away from the town, but we come back and stuff like we, we grew up here as kids, and um, it's a massive part of our identity personally. And we know what football club means to a community, and to, and, and so so I think you know modernising the values of the club to represent everyone in the town is important, but also bringing the history along with us as well. You know, we're proud of the 143 years. But also we want to we want to modernise a bit, so it's a place that's welcoming and inviting. So no, it's it's it's, it's emotional actually to see something like this because it does remind you, doesn't it, of, of that there's been there's been tens of thousands of people have stood on these spots over the last hundred years, and it's meant a lot to them, right? And so we want to make sure it's set up for another 143, quite frankly, so we can keep being a part of our identity and part of our community as well. Match day at Grimsby Town also saw the unveiling of a new community art installation by the Creative Start team as part of the Paint the Town Proud project. Paint the Town Proud is a project that is part of the Grimsby Creates programme which is funded by the Cultural Development Fund um, from Arts Council England. Um, it is led by Creative Star and it's in partnership with the Culture House, Nomad Design, Hammond House Production and some leading artists from around the region. Create the Creative Star team, um, which I'm part of, and in a team, what I mean is we all have something in common, we're all in recovery. I've just been in recovery for almost, almost 20 years. So working with them and then being, we just all come together, we, we all, we don't have to explain ourselves to each other, we have an understanding between each other because we're all on the same journey. And then having them working with them on a, something like this, it, it's just fantastic, it always has been. It's the reason I do it and um, the confidence that it gives them, the self-esteem, the, the self-worth and and me, because uh, I'm the same, um, that's what it's all about. It's a work of art, it's a work of art with heart and soul and the history of the club, right, so people are going to absolutely love it. And it'd be brilliant to see here for years to come and be updated and, and hopefully see some more some more legends up there over the years as well. It'd be good to see that, we can add to it hopefully as well. I think, I think there's something about art generally, isn't there, right? I mean, fo football's an art form, you know, there's something about feeding our souls, human flourishing, and the way that we think about the human condition. This is part of it, football's part of it, so more of this rather than less, but I'm hoping it'll inspire people and connect people into our history, right, into our past, into our heritage. That's really important as well. Even though we want to progress and look into the future, we've got to remember where we come from and think about what got us here as well. Both are important, I think. It's great for the fans, you know what I mean? It's just this whole area now, what was just essentially an alleyway, is a hub. And it's so great that we've got local artists like Kev, you know, to come and, you know, come and paint this. So it's, yeah, it's just great. And it just kind of 
epitomise everything that's going well with the club at the moment. So it's all about the community, all about bringing out people's talents and creativity. So yeah, it's, it's brilliant. I actually think that the mural, the, the artwork is, is fantastic. I've actually taken the photograph and sent it to both my sons who live in London and they both said it looks amazing. You know, it fetched the community together. So we're all in recovery who did it. So yeah, it's amazing, you know feeling you get when you've done the artwork is unreal. Uh, it's great, it looks really good and uh, trying to pick out who we know from the past X number of years is uh, it's good. I think that on the, the fan zone artwork that I think is really great it's 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 um, brought a derelict dead area of the, of the ground to life so no I think it's really good. <laughs>